So uh, I hit 4,000 subscribers the other day. Hey everyone, it's Jeff. I hope you're doing well. And in honor of hitting 4,000 subscribers, which by the way is absolutely blowing my mind, like I just, <laughs> wow. Um, I never thought that I would hit 500, let alone 4,000 subscribers. Like, wow, okay. <laughs> in honor of that, I wanted to start implementing more fan-based questions for my Friday stuff. So this is gonna be the first ever formal Q&A. And so I asked you all on Twitter, Instagram, and Patreon to send me your questions, and this is what I got. And to start off, Michela on Patreon asked me, if you were faced with the choice of never being able to play music again while still being able to listen to music, or never being able to pet a dog again while still being able to see and hang out with dogs, which would you choose? And this is quite possibly the worst would you rather question ever in the history of ever. Like, uh, I feel like I have to say that I would rather be able to pet dogs for the rest of my life because in this scenario, at least I would still be able to listen to music, but if I'm not able to cuddle or pet a dog, like that would probably be the worst. And then on Twitter, Kyle asked, what is your favorite band? And you'll have to give me a second on this one. I think I'm gonna have to go with uh, that band right there. I'm gonna have to go with Paramore on this one. Also, I literally went on a cruise to be able to meet them, so... <laughs> My YouTube friend Christy asked me, what is the ideal number of dogs? And my mathematical brain is so excited about this answer. And um, I'm gonna have to say 1009, because 1000 is K and K9. But in Mathematical jokes make me a little too happy. <laughs> and then on Instagram, y'all really showed up. <laughs> like, thank you so much. Uh, but we'll start off with Emil. Oh, Emil, such a lovely, lovely human. Um, and Emil asked, what's the hardest part of doing a cover of a song? Also, do you have a favorite dog breed? And the hardest part of doing a cover for me is actually picking the songs. Like... I'm someone who gets really, really overwhelmed if I have too many choices, but you know, in the end, it all works out somehow. And then I do have a favorite dog breed, and perhaps surprisingly, it's not a husky, even though I do love my little pupper Aspen. Golden Retrievers have a special place in my heart. They're just so floofy and lovely and happy all the time. I just, oh, Golden Retrievers, precious little fluff balls. My one and only sister, Jenny, asked me, who's your favorite sibling? And, uh, well, based on process of elimination, gonna have to go with, uh, with you on that one. <laughs> Celeste wanted to know, what's the most important lesson you've learned in the last year? And quite honestly, it is that not everyone is going to like you. Sometimes people are gonna hate you no matter what you do. And then another question was, what's something people might be surprised to know you like? It would probably be a little surprising for some people to know that my absolute favorite movie of all time is 10 Things I Hate About You, and that I will quote that the entire time when watching it. Just, ah, God, that's, it's such a good movie. It's such a good movie. Shannon was wondering how I picked the name Jeff. And I don't think that I've ever actually mentioned this on my channel, uh, but when I was 15, I asked my mom what I would have been named had I been assigned male at birth, and she said Jeffrey Andrew, though she wanted it to be the Jeffrey Chaucer spelling, so with a G instead of a J, but my birth name was kind of unique in its spelling, and I was tired of having people spell my name wrong, so I chose the J version. So yeah, it's kind of a little nod to her, and I just felt like Jeff fit me best. Kevin wanted to know, do you speak more than one language? If so, what? And yes, oui. Bien sûr, <laughs> je parle un peu le français parce que j'ai étudié le français pour six ans. 
dans l'université et le lycée. And I'm really sorry if I butchered any of that. I'm still a bit rusty. <laughs> It's been a while. Josh asked, at what age did you learn how to play the guitar? And I think I was about 11 or 12 when my parents brought home a guitar. And then my sister and I went to lessons, but I didn't go to lessons for very long because my hands weren't big enough to form the chords. So I just, I stopped going. And then I think I was about 16 when I picked it up again and then taught myself. And I've been self-taught ever since. Lauren wants to know, what are you most excited for this spring? And is it maybe a little cliche to say my birthday? Because my birthday happens in April and I'm pretty excited about that. And then the final question that I have is from Emery and it is, have you ever thought about auditioning for The Voice or touring? And fun fact, I have actually auditioned for The Voice before. I was asked to do callbacks twice, but I've only actually auditioned in person once, so. I have considered it. I wasn't accepted onto the show and that's fine. Um, I'm okay with that. As for touring, I would love to do that, but I would love to do that in a band. I've never really considered myself a solo artist. So if I were to tour or do an album or do something, I want it to be in a band. Thank you again to everyone who sent me questions. If you want to follow me so that you don't miss the next opportunity, I am at jeffameller17. You can see it right here, or the links are also down below. That way you can participate next time if you would like. And as always, you are valid, you are loved. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend, and I'll see you again on Monday. Bye. Thanks for dragging out my video. You can click anywhere if you don't know where to go. I hope that you enjoyed the show